Hello, so for Katsukan, I made an Umbreon fairy project and this is going to be part two of that video series. Okay, bye. So if you haven't watched the previous video, I go over the bodysuit, which is uh, probably the most exciting part of this whole costume. So you should check that video out. But if you've already seen that, then we're moving on to some of the accessories. The Umbreon fairy costume that I made was designed by my friend Kit. You can see the design here. We were part of a big evolution fairy group that she designed all of the costumes for and then each of us made our own respective costumes. So it was really exciting and really fun to be a part of this group and I had a lot of fun making this costume. This video is going to be going over like the clothing accessories so I've got another video coming out that's going to be for like jewelry accessories but this is going to go over the like undershirt puffy shirt that she's got underneath the bodysuit and then thigh high socks leggings kind of things that are on the legs. I got a lot of questions about how I made these on Instagram and a lot of questions asking where I got my shoes from but um, they're not shoes. The shoes are just high heel wedges um, and I made essentially boot covers. So my original plan was going to be just to like tape up my leg and draw out the pattern on that which worked really well and I was able to use entirely stash fabric for this whole project which was great. The only kind of deviation that I really was planning on making from the actual design, the shirt that she wears is black with like a gradient down to the sleeves but I didn't want to go out and buy any fabric so my plan was to take a red chiffon that I had and a black glitter tool and layer those. So I didn't have a gradient. I went with what I had, but I think it worked really well. And even though it's not 100% true to the reference, I'm really happy with how it turned out. So let's go watch Sarah tape up my leg now. <laughs> Today's a big sewing and cutting day. I have gotten the crown mostly done. I just need to do like jewelry stuff. Wings are done because they were provided by Moon Moth Wings. The bodysuit is done. Mostly all I have left to do is the tights, leggings, whatever and this shirt. After that, I can do the jewelry, then we're done. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot more when you actually say it all. I've kind of been going back and forth whether I want to do like an illusion shirt with jewelry like attached to it. I think that would be more secure, but then I wouldn't be able to like reuse the jewelry for other stuff. So uh, I think I'll just make it separate. I don't have fabric that looks exactly like this. So instead I'm going to be layering these two fabrics. It's like a burgundy-ish chiffon on with you silly girl with this black sparkle knit which is not like exactly what it looks like but I think it's a close enough kind of thing so it'll be fine that's the shirt and then for the leggings I have this spandex which kind of matches the bodysuit if I use the wrong side of the spandex the right side of the spandex is really cute and it's like this sparkle spandex but it, it doesn't really match the costume so I'm just gonna be using the back side because that looks pretty close Let's get started. seam everything because this is going to be like really scratchy if I just leave it as a normal seam and because the fabric see-through you'll be able to see all the raw edges so not cute we're gonna French seam everything which makes a simple project take slightly more time but oh well I'm also going to be sticking black elastic on the top neckline and into the sleeves and the lower hem so that it's all gathered up into something that's not a bunch of rectangles <laughs> Working on the little gold armbands now. Hey, I covered the little 
bracer thing in gold cricket foil. It's not like as smooth. I mean, it's not smooth. It did not turn out smooth. I think when the foam is heated up, it releases a lot of air bubbles. Maybe I should have heat primed it first, but I, I think I'm actually pretty okay with how this looks. And it looks like gold leaf when it's a little crinkly like this. So it doesn't bother me so much. It matches the gold on the bodysuit. So that's all I was going for really. I just pressed the Cricut foil onto the foam and now I'm gonna trim down the seam allowance and clip it in a few places so that it lays a lot smoother. of the tights. Got these strips of fabric covered in foil. I'm gonna sew these two strips together so they're at a 90 degree angle. Press it so it's kind of like bias tape and then stick this on the front here. Binding on there, it looks a little bit, I don't know, misshapen, but once they're on and like on shoes, then it all straightens out because this needs tension on it to go around the shoe, so it looks fine. Now I'm gonna trim this extra stuff off, fold this under. The back edge is just black, so it doesn't need any binding or anything. I was planning on just folding it under and just doing a stitch and having that stay really, really narrow because it's a stretch, it's never gonna unravel. So I don't have to worry about like finishing that edge really nicely. The last parts of this is that it gets elastic on the bottom so it can hook around the shoe. I need to add a bunch of buttons and I need to make the buttons first, then sew these to tights. <laughs> parts on here. It was a huge pain, so I didn't video any of it, but I can kind of walk through what I did. I used the foil iron on to a sheet of craft home, and then I had my Cricut cut out a little oval, and then I pinned that to my leg, tried to make sure it was all stretched out nicely, and then took it off and tried to sew it on <laughs> where it had been pinned. I only put three pins in, and then like while I was sewing it, I just kind of eh, held it out like that. It worked. Like it looks really good when it's on my leg. It does not look very good just like this, because the stretch fabric kind of contracts on itself, but when it's on my leg and it's all stretched out, this looks great. Awesome. The only things I'm not very pleased with, I didn't have black craft foam, so I had to use white and you can see the white craft foam, which is not ideal. Go back in and try to like paint it or something. Um, I'm also concerned about how long-term craft foam is gonna hold up, but I didn't really have anything else I could use right now. So uh, maybe 
in the future I'll replace it with like neoprene or something but I, I didn't have any neoprene so this is what we were working with so then I, I did a stitch all the way around the outside and then when that was on and I checked it and I made sure that all looked good so I didn't have to rip it off I did another stitch all the way around the inside really really wish I had had black foam but oh well <laughs> the next thing I'm going to do is add buttons so she's got the little circle-y guy oval and then she's got buttons all down her leg it looks like they're spaced out about two inches. I have buttons that are five eighths of an inch. So I'm going to cover them hopefully in this same foil. I'm a little concerned that it's going to be a little bulky for these covered buttons, but we'll, we'll try. There's one, two, three, four, five on here. I'm going to mark that out so I can figure out how many I need. Uh, yeah. I want to make sure the spacing is right rather than the number, because I think that is more important to the look to get the spacing right rather than making sure there are just five buttons. Actually, five might have been just right. I'm gonna try them on really quick and then I'm gonna start making some buttons. need to be stitched my tight. I already did the front of one side on my body, but obviously I can't get to like the back if it's on my body and it also just was annoying. So I've got my leg form here, stick this on here and then sew it while it's on, on the mannequin instead of on myself. I'm doing this like super carefully because I don't want to rip the tights. I already did nick a little hole in them. I just used nail polish to stop the hole from running anymore, but I, I really don't want to mess these up because uh, then I have to start over. Stitching to the tights, I'm trying to take like pretty large stitches because I don't want any like one or two threads of the nylon to have a lot of tension on it because then it'll probably rip. Small stitches on the spandex, large stitches on the nylon. I hope you guys like this video. I am visiting at Aaron's house right now and uh, I'm trying to upload this video for tomorrow. So this is the outro. I was really happy with how this costume turned out. The only things that like I kind of didn't love about it, I wish I had made the sleeves longer on the shirt because they don't quite reach all the way down to the gauntlet part of it. So um, I wish that I had made those a little bit longer and if I had had more time, then I think I would have attached, like made an attachment for it so they could like snap into the gauntlets or something, I don't know. But um, as it is, like, it, it's fine for now and I don't really mind how it is. I think I'm gonna remake the shirt if I feel like it and if I find a fabric that I really like because I was also just trying to use up my stash fabric for this one. Didn't wanna buy anything new, um, but if I were to remake all of it, I think I would redo the shirt as like an illusion neckline so I could kind of have attachment points for the jewelry because they did end up being kind of annoying, like sliding all over the place. Then I also just didn't like how the elastic looked at the very top of the shirt. I had made it an illusion neckline that could have been a smoother transition from like 
skin to shirt if that makes sense and then if it's only one fabric that is like a gradient fabric or um, Triel was the other shiny Umbreon and the fabric they used was kind of like a blue purple shift that I thought was really cool so if I could find one that's in the correct colors for the non shiny version then I think I might use that um, and it would be easier to do an illusion neckline with something that is um, not two layers and isn't going to shred kind of like chiffon does. So that was my main concerns for the shirt. For the leggings, I didn't really have any problems and there's not much I would change about them really at all. So no notes on that. I don't know, maybe I would like more securely attach them to the tights, but I didn't want any stitching visible from the front of the like sock legging part. So I didn't want to do like a hard stitch on my machine. So that was why I chose to do like the hand stitching. Trade-offs for security, but also like visuals. Yeah, so that's, that's it for this part. The last part will be coming soon. Last part of the series is going to be jewelry and the crown and that's it. And then we've got one more Katakan costume, Chibiusa, and that was much more of a struggle than this costume, so that will be a fun video. Um, yeah, if you want to see more videos of mine, then subscribe, comment if you, I don't know, if you liked what I did, if you didn't like what I did, if you had other suggestions or whatever. And yeah, hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!